Jackie Facelli. Bill Lewis. I will you marry me or not? Bill Lewis, I will marry you or not. I love you. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> Bill, how are you? Hey, get my permission. Oh, May you? I have your permission to marry your daughter yes. or not? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Wait a while, Jack. I gotta find out how many goats he's got and how many cows. Now he's been in Kenya in the peace. Yeah, right. I understand so cows. He can, uh -huh. he can dicker with you. You better have a hell of a lot of cows. Or oh, a hell of a lot of cows. <laughs> uh oh. Save your police. Jackie. Oh, save your a distinguished alumni citation recipient, Jacqueline Vaselli, class of 1974, presented by Robert Spud Hannaford. Jackie and Spud, please come forward. I have the honor of presenting Dr. Jacqueline Vaselli for the Distinguished Alumna Award. We at the college have had reason to expect great things from her, for we can recall many instances from her student days when she, although blind from birth, saw more quickly and clearly than her fellow students, although they were sighted and able. And I might add, the same holds true about her professors. <laughs> for what Jackie has seen and argued for in that career goes against the stand of influential, very influential political theorists against what some regard as their political wisdom, namely their view that we in America and in the West should take our own tradition as an exclusive source of the insights about human rights and values. Dr. Hannaford, thank you for such kind words. Words, I didn't have the reputation for being speechless. <laughs> I look on this award as a challenge because my regard for you all at Lippin is such, I could not have earned this award. This is a challenge for me to try to live every day to attempt to earn it. I never met Socrates in this life, but I feel as if I might have. Uh, I, I feel as if the experience that I had uh, must be something like what it would have been like to sit there in the Agora in Athens and discuss all the great ethical, political, and epistemological questions and so on. I will just try every day to continue as I've been trying to do to live out the values of Ripon College. Thank you so very, very much.
right. and you form it into a cube. And if you do it one way, you have the brick and logo on all the outside edges. Oh. And if you do it another way, you have face of Bernie on all of them. Oh, wow. And I think you'll be able to tell the difference between the two. So, right. so you, I don't want you to be left out. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! I'm lost. Which way do I go? Do you know where I should go? This way. This way? This way. But that goes uphill. Uphill, yes. Oh, lordy. Uphill all the way to the end, but it's good shape. Woohoo! Woohoo! And here we come to the glorious finish line. Oh, this way! Okay. A student debt of over $100,000, $150,000, so forth. The average Rickon student comes out with a debt for four years of about $30,000. Now, that seems like a lot, right? The average Rickon student is paying out of pocket to be here, and this is for room, for board, and for classes, about $15,000 a year. That's a pretty good deal. We're preparing students for not necessarily just job one, but it's job three, four, five, six down the road. The skills you learn here in the classroom and in the extracurriculars are things that help you in life.
Bien, bien, bien.